This was one of the Los Angeles Valiant's most back and forth series to date. On one map they would look solid, and then the next simply lost. When it came time to clutch though, they truly shaped up against Chengdu. Lijiang Tower's round one was on night market. The Los Angeles Valiant took the win convincingly. Their ultimate usage was superior to that of the Hunters. Round two though brought the teams to gardens. It was a shutout win for the Valiant, and with them outperforming the Chengdu Hunters in all facets. The map ended up in favor of the Los Angeles Valiant on a final score of two to zero. Next came Paris, and in round one, the Valiant started on attack. After a couple minutes of delay, they eventually found what they needed in picks to grab the advantage and take point A. Point B gave the Valiant even more trouble though, and in the end, they could not grab a single tick. Round two saw the Valiant's point A defense fall very quickly to Chengdu. They held the Hunters off of point B for one fight, but were overwhelmed when the Hunters came back for their second attack. Paris ended with the Chengdu Hunters winning on a final score of 2-1. Kings Row had the Los Angeles Valiant starting on defense. They lost point A immediately after the start of the round. On point A, they contested much longer, but the payload still eventually made it through. After a lengthy overtime fight on the final point, the Valiant came out on top and denied Chengdu of map completion. In round two, the Valiant took point A in a similar speed to the Hunters. They went on to finish point B with no issues. However, they struggled on point C. In what seemed like a lost overtime fight, the Valiant regrouped and with a great round of ultimates, turned the tides in their favor. A nice graviton surge from Kyle KSF Frandancia kept the remaining members of the Chengdu Hunters off of the payload long enough for it to make the end. The Los Angeles Valiant won King's Row on a final score of 3-2. The Valiant started on defense for Watchpoint Gibraltar. They held off the Hunters for a couple of minutes before losing a trade-heavy fight, and point A was completed. Despite a strong showing on point B from the LA Valiant, a strong back cap from Hunter support Xian Yao Yvalto Lee kept his team in the game. In the end though, Los Angeles was able to keep Chengdu from finishing the map. On attack, the Valiant could not complete point A in a part due to major pressure from Chengdu DPS Zihao Ziang Ziaolong Zhang on Widowmaker. The map ended 2-0 in favor of the Chengdu Hunters on Watchpoint Gibraltar. For a map 5, round 1 took place on Mecha Base in Busan. It was back and forth and extremely close, coming down to a close fight in overtime. The members of the Chengdu Hunters accidentally stepped off for too long though, and the Los Angeles Valiant came out on top. Round 2 was in downtown. The Valiant were completely dominant and won it 100% to 0. The map ended on Busan in a 2-0 favor for the Los Angeles Valiant. Although not the cleanest win, beating a team like the Chengdu Hunters is a sign of significant improvement for the Valiant. Chengdu is regarded as a solid mid-tier team, therefore this victory is not only cause for celebration, but crucial to maintaining morale. Of course, there is still plenty to improve upon for the Los Angeles Valiant. The Los Angeles Valiant beat the Chengdu Hunters on a final score of 3-2.